good day grade tens. In this lesson we're going to look at the basics of electrostatics and that we need to know is to remember that there are two kinds of charge. Now if we look at this atom we can remind ourselves that we have got protons which are positively charged, we've got negatively charged electrons and when an object has the same number of protons and electrons we say it is neutral. In other words there's no net charge. So we know that the protons are found in the nucleus, the electrons are about 2,000 times smaller in mass but they are found in the outer orbitals. So I know this isn't to scale but in the inside in your nucleus you've got your protons and you've got your neutrons and then you've got these electrons in the outer orbitals. So it's electrons that are transferred between objects, not the protons, not the neutrons. These little dudes here that are 2,000 times smaller and very far away, they are the ones that are transferred. So if an object loses electrons or becomes electron deficient, then we say it becomes positively charged. But if an object gains electrons or has an excess of electrons, then we say it is negatively charged. Why? Because an electron is negative. So if you lose electrons, obviously you become more positive. And if you gain electrons, you become more negative. Electrons can be transferred by friction. So let's just look at this little Java applet and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, we've got a jersey, which is totally neutral and we have here a wall which is neutral. Now we're going to take our little balloon and we're going to wrap it and as we wrap it we will see that the negative electrons are being attracted to and they get transferred to the balloon. I'm holding the balloon in the middle because it's going to get attracted to that jersey in any second now. So that there is what happened. We can transfer the electrons. Okay, now you will see that the jersey is now positively charged and the balloon is negatively charged. So do you see that? That means that they're attracted to each other. So this here, because it lost um, all, I'm going to reset it so we can go through it again. As I bring the balloon close, the balloon is neutral as well, but it is more positive than the jersey. So when I do the friction, do you see that the electrons are being transferred from the jersey to the balloon? So rubbing, 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 there we go. So now the jersey is positively charged and the balloon is negatively charged because it's got an excess of electrons. And if I let it go, you'll see the balloon will actually get attracted and stick to the jersey. And guys, you can try this. You can try this at home. It will work, okay, if you've got a nice wool jersey. Okay, so that's the one thing you need to learn about it. We'll talk about that some other time. So electrons are transferred by friction. This is called triboelectric charging. So the name given to method of charging an object by bringing it into contact or rubbing it into another object is called tribo or triboelectric charging. So we're going to look at this little Java applet as well. If you've ever had this happen to you where you're walking along a carpet, especially if you've got rubber soles, and then you're walking along, what happens is the electrons are being transferred to your body and then you bring your hand close to specifically a metal neutral object <laughs> and look what happens. It actually causes the you to feel a little zap and it actually discharges. <laughs> so it's a silly little example but it shows you how this happens when we're walking along. Right, so that is the basics of electrostatics. We'll be learning a little bit more in the next few lessons. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.